What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Rondé Barber for your film session from last Thursday's 20 to 19 loss in Chicago. And if you're disappointed, join the crowd. There were some good plays, there were some bad plays, there was way too many penalties, and a really tough injury. Vita Vega loss is gonna hurt. But there were two players that stood out to me, and I wanna get right into their play. And one of them is Ronald Jones. His second 100-yard game, first time he's had consecutive 100-yard outings. And this is, to me, a pretty special football player. And I, it's exemplified by uh, two runs, a couple of runs, actually. There was probably three or four that I could point out. But I wanna start with this one. This is the first drive of the first quarter. And this, for all intents and purposes, should be a three or four yard tackle for loss. But Ronald Jones, he doesn't care. He's got a spin move, a deadly spin move at that. Watch this. Rokon Smith is clear into the backfield and nope, comes up with feathers. And this run is just violent at the end. And from the end zone, you can see it. This is just a gap run. And bring that up because the next run is not a gap run. See the double teams and as he, the linebacker 58 is blitzing, Gronkowski, a little slow on the draw and misses him, but don't matter. When you got that kind of quickness and movement, good things are gonna happen. All right, let's take this to this next run. This is uh, later in the, in the game. This is the longest play of the football game, 37 yard run and right up the gut. And look, this is, a, like I said, primarily a gap running football team, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But this play, this is zone, split zone, in fact. And you could tell by Rob Gronkowski going in motion, offensive line moving in unison one way, he comes back the other way. And I'll show the importance of this from the end zone in just a second, but this is just a thing of beauty. When you can hit to the second level of the defense with that much speed going, Good luck to these defensive backs. You're gonna see all five offensive linemen take steps to their right. Rob Gronkowski comes across the formation to pick up this defensive end. But the most important thing about this run, about this split zone run, is watch number 59, Danny Trevathan. He, because he gets caught up looking at Gronk, this gap is wide, wide open. And then I tell you what, I used to be a DB and I hated when running backs did this to me. Ronald Jones is running straight in the middle of the field and he looks right at Kyle Fuller and just, that's embarrassing. That's kind of embarrassing. Anyways, other side of the ball. I've been meaning to talk about Carlton Davis for uh, a long time this season. He has played outstanding. You've seen him down here at the bottom of the screen. There's a couple of things I really like about his technique here. He's changing it up, first of all. See him flashing his hands at Allen Robinson, who was Chicago's best receiver but he uses his feet to stay on top and then he engages with his hands. And the best thing about this, he's in phase. And when you're in phase, you got a chance to look back and find this football. And this is just a stupid interception. A lot of people say this is lucky because the ball bounces up. I happen to be a guy that doesn't believe in luck. It's preparation, meeting opportunity. And if you want to call it luck, fine. To me, this is just a heck of a player making a heck of a play. You can see it. Uh, just as well from the uh, from the end zone copy at the end of this play, just playing through his hands, and then bam, I'll take that interception. All right, end of the game. The only reason I brought that up is to show you what it's like to be out of phase, because this to me is, I mean, you could say that interception was his best play of the game. This to me is his best play of the game. But he does the same thing at the line of scrimmage again against Allen Robinson. He uses his feet, gets his hands on. But that little stutter right there puts him out of phase. So now he has no opportunity to look for this football, but he still gets this blind PBU. This is amazing. And from the end zone, you can absolutely see what I'm talking about here. He's out of phase. He's playing only through his hands. And that's just great work. It makes me want to be 6'1 with you know, arms that go down to my my, uh, my knees, but I wasn't built like that. He is, and he's turning into one heck of a player. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. The Bucks host the Green Bay Packers, undefeated Green Bay Packers at home, and I'll be here with your film session. Cheers.